We're going to do combat the mechanic way, which is the dumb way. Oh no, going to land on meat. <laughs> I landed on meat. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Tannic here, and thank you for joining me yet again for another tutorial video for Imperion Galactic Survival version 1.2. So, uh, when we last left off, we had just got the hover bike up and running. So, let me show you guys what I have done and what you should do as well. Uh, first things first, you should never really shut off the hover bike. One, it's fairly fuel efficient, and two, Wherever you put your fridge, well, it, you, your fridge will shut off too, and your food will go uh, and get spoiled. Uh, so before we go to the UCH Heidelberg, that is where we're heading next, uh, I did go and get a few more trees. As you can see, I'm making as much biofuel as possible, and all you need for that again is wood logs. So you can take your small const or portable constructor, load it up with wood logs, and just let that produce biofuel for you. The other thing I've done here, and uh, a viewer actually did suggest this, and this was kind of the plan, uh, you should build three cargo boxes and a detector, all for the hover bike. So if you go up over here, check this out, you click on the furthest right icon there, it says placeable on hover vessels, go to devices, uh, you'll see the cargo box right there, and you'll see the detector right there and you'll probably have to go and unlock the detector if you hit F3 uh, go to hover vessel come down and get the detector it's right down there and the cargo boxes are here as well uh, where are they okay yeah uh, they come unlocked I believe or maybe not but there they are so that's what you want to build so we're gonna take this uh, also well th this is kinda separate but um, Always have a couple cores handy. Now we may or may not need that with the Heidelberg depending on how it's been uh, changed. I think it comes with a core, but just in case you always never leave home without a core. All right, so you can see right here we already have a gap for you know, that we're gonna use for the cargo box. Now what you wanna make sure that you do is distribute these evenly because the weight, guys, the weight will make this thing drive like drive like a, a, you, the desk that you're sitting at. If you put wheels on it, it will just screw you up. And uh, I'm probably going to suffer that too so you can enjoy it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one cargo box here. Uh, and you can take your survival tool and go salvage and this is a destroyed steel block anyway it's not really going to provide you much armor and just zap it just once be careful because otherwise you'll get the fuel tank uh, and you're going to put the square one in uh, now this doesn't hold the most and I'll show you we're going to put a larger one on top uh, if you right click with the cargo box equipped uh, it gives you some options here uh, you know, just different shapes, sizes, that kind of thing. But also storage. If you look at volume capacity right there, the ones we're putting in on the side are 125, which are basically nothing. But it's going to help. You don't want to leave home without uh, somewhere to stash some goods that you come across. Uh, so we're going to go like that. That way, it's even. So next. And you can kind of decide where you want to put this. This is where I'm going to put it. Uh, hit F5 for your drone. You can see there's already the cargo box that came with it right here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to stack on top of that, I think. Yeah. So we're going to take the second one here because that's 500 SU. And this is going to look goofy, but if you stick around this channel, you'll figure out that's just my way of doing things. Uh, so let's make sure it's on there right behind... The chair. Now we have four cargo boxes. That's great. Uh, next, we have the detector. Now, where you put the detector is up to you. That is not going to work. Uh, oh, I made a floating cargo box. <laughs> That's okay. It's still connected, guys. It's still connected. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slap the detector probably on the back here. Let me go ahead and get rid of this block. There we go probably a poor idea uh, but 
what you can do later is actually put another block over that. The detector doesn't have to be in open air. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to make us a little block to put over that. For the hover vessel, steel block. There we go. And done. Son of a bitch. I'm the last guy on the planet that should be making tutorials. But it's going to help you guys. It is. And you can just plunk it on there right like that if you want. I'm probably going to do a cube half. And if you want to rotate the blocks, you use the home and insert key to change the axis upon which it rotates. And then the home and end keys to rotate it. See? Tucked away, all nice and purdy. So, are we good? What, what else should we take with us? I have ammunition. Oh, I don't have an assault rifle. Just in case there are... No, no, not that, not that. No, oh, stop. In case there are drones... You want to have an assault rifle because the shotgun is not going to reach it. And I don't recommend taking on drones with an assault rifle, but uh, that's what we're going to do here. Uh, as you can see, I loaded our uh, O2 generators, or condensers, I'm sorry, up with biofuel. Uh, that's never a waste. It's never a waste. God, we have so much O2. Why do I have a steel plate? Oh, I know why. As I salvaged. Okay, so that's going to sit there and take forever. That's fine. Uh, are we making more biofuel? Good. So, what we can do now... Uh, go up to... Oh, that's going to bug me. Uh, you can go right up to your hover bike if you want and hit F4. Now, you have to be right up against it because it doesn't have a Wi-Fi connection. But this is how you can like just directly access all the cargo boxes like so in fact I don't think no it didn't make a difference okay yeah this one this is our large one it has 250 volumes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack a lot of extra biofuel no well, maybe not a lot I don't uh, okay okay I can only carry 45 so I'll stash the rest up there um, I guess we can just access it here. How much can you carry? You can carry 12 biofuel. That's going to have to do. And with the rest, let's go ahead and fill, fill her up, if you would. There we go. And we got nine left. So I'm going to stash the rest in here. All right. Our assault rifle should be done. Yep. Ah, oh, I'm excited, guys. I am excited. And also, with your survival tents, uh, you should always sleep away the night on the arid planet because it gets really cold. Strangely enough. So, let's make sure our weapons are reloaded. Now, we are going to be off balance uh, because we have a fridge on one side. And actually, I put the biofuel on that side too. But it'll be fine, guys. Let's go to the Heidelberg. <laughs> So anyway, with the detector, this detector has a much better range than your handheld one. You can see right there, the range is 2,500 meters. So as we go to the Heidelberg, we can uh, scout out some of these other things here. It looks like uh, whoop, some resources. Are there drones? There are no drones. Oh, but look at that. The damaged... UCH darts. Okay, and this will trigger the mission. Chapter 1, Human Remains. This planet has seen a lot of fights. Yours is only the latest in a series. Track down the UCH fleet signal Ida is picking up, and you will possibly find the remains of your fellow comrades. I want to rename her... I don't like Ida. I don't know if I like that. And this is the SV that you can fix up similarly to um, what we did here with the, with the HV. What's missing on you? Pelican class transporter, the Heidelberg, indeed. No, I want to know about this. I guess I'll get in. Oh, oh, okay then. Totally destroyed. I'm not sure I'll find anything useful here. Okay. We should have a look anyway. Okay, so there is no core. And that is the problem here. So, again, did we bring the cores? No, I just told you not... To oh, we did. Okay, thank God. 
I have marked a possible target for your investigation. It is showing an electromagnetic signal. Thank you. Thank you, Ida. So let's go ahead and put a core in this baby and it's telling you where to put it. There's a big C right here, I'm guessing. That is not where I would actually like the core to be, but that's what we're gonna put it there for now. And then we'll look at it, press P. Let's see what's missing. Generator and fuel tank. Uh, thrusters seem intact. It could use some more. It's actually missing thrusters. You can see that, oh boy. But it probably has enough to move. In fact, I'm going to try it. Does it have fuel? Oh, wait, no. Generator and fuel tank missing, Mike. Use your brain. All right. Let's go ahead and check out the Heidelberg. Now, it's really up to you what you want to do. It, it, this thing is so loaded with devices. Uh, like constructors, all kinds of good stuff that it's practically begging you to start your base here. Um, there we go. Let's have a look inside. You see there's thrusters. It'll trick you into thinking that this is an actual CV, but this is not. This is a base block. Uh, and the devs managed to put um, the thrusters there. So let's go ahead and get out. I am about to die. Lack of oxygen. Like playing tin can all over again. There we go. Let's see, what do we got? Some stuff and a notepad. It seems this is part of a status report. Has hit us hard. Kind of a laser projectile or a very advanced rocket. We got separated from the main fleet. These Erex have cut us off from the rest and are trying to bring us down. They will be successful. The captain has sent the emergency rescue signal. We are making an emergency landing. All engines are off. I'm off to the rescue pod. Chief Engineer First Class Pallant out. All right. Well, that's that's bad. Huh. Chief Pallant, one of the engineers I worked with on my first assignment on the Apollon station. By the way, Ida, did you notice that whole wreckage seems to be weathered? It's like it was lying around here for quite some time. Well, Ida, what do you have to say for yourself? Ooh. Oh. I am already analyzing the traces. The first results show the whole damage happened about 11 to 13 months ago. That's not right. Months? How can we? Okay, let's say this is correct. It is correct, Commander. Oh, okay, Ida, jeez. Considering the events of our arrival, this could explain a lot. Chief Lutz had a theory about time... Uh, dilation in the vicinity of an unstable warp field and the irregular warp vortex around the Titan we got dragged into could be considered one correct commander I will analyze this further capacitor device nice perfect let's consider this not 2473, but 2474 for whatever reason. I think we should investigate the wreckage more closely. I am. Goodies. Maybe we'll get more info about what happened to the fleet, if nothing else. Agreed. Um, let me. While we were at it, I detected an electronic current nearby. Let's see if someone left another note inside. Okay, do I have my blonger? I don't. That is a problem. Uh, electric? Let's see if... Okay. Alright, so let's have a look around. Ooh, armor locker. Nope. Yeah, see, it's got a lot of really nice devices. O2 station. Beautiful, and I'm stuck. I don't want to be stuck down here. All right. 
I'm gonna go ahead and help. Hip the. Nope. Okay. All right. I'll go around the right way. Yeah, there's some decent loot here, if I recall. Well, so far it's all junk. So far it's all junk. Captain Brenner and most of the flight team were killed just seconds ago. A projectile hit the bow amidships. I was incredibly lucky. My, absol my absolutely justified criticisms made after we ran into this mess caused the lieutenant to send me back, or to send me to check the lifeboats seconds before the bridge was hit. Karma? Maybe not. Now I can't leave this room. The doors are sealed. I'm standing in front of the lifeboat section and cannot enter it. Which doesn't matter anyway as the whole section is missing and I'm staring into the sky through a big hole in the hole. The ground is coming closer. I just heard the tearing of metal. The ship is breaking apart. This might be my final entry in this PDA. I'll put it here. Maybe I will continue it later. Hope at least our engineers did their job when creating these structurally strengthened sections. Emerson, Ensign, UCH Heidelberg. Huh. Commander, the optical sensors have detected something attached to one of the machines over there. One of the machines? Over where? Oh, that's how we get down here. Alright. Uh, can I get to that? Ugh! Computer. Yeah, okay. Is that all the same? It is. Alright, so where am I going? Strange marker. There's no good loot in here. Oh, wait, yeah. And see, this is what I was talking about before. There's the constructor. Uh, those are fairly expensive to build starting out, so. Huh? A pad taped on it, and looks like it's written in our academy secret code. Secret code. You guys, Boy Scouts. How old are you? Timestamp, August 26, 2474, to whoever finds this. The Heidelberg is lost. Only a few survived the crash. Palant has already made contact with the local natives, the Talon. Talon. Mm -hmm. They must have seen us coming down. We literally crashed on their front lawn. We are now heading towards the Talon settlement. The Xerax are on our heels, but seem to have lost interest. Or they are currently held up by the rest of the fleet. The last comm we got basically said that the fleet is in retreat. The Titan is lost, probably crashed on the moon. Not sure if the crew survived. That's good to know. Make a note of that. The MS Grand has sent an encrypted signal which we hope the Xerox will not be able to, to decipher for a while. This is our ticket out of here. Some friends have put up a teleporter device in a wreckage area a few kilometers away. Emerson, the lucky son of a blank, has generated a key card. I'm not sure if there are other ships coming down or other survivors. I'll leave a hint for those that might come later with instructions how to generate that key card. For authentication, use AI Routine 34. Otherwise, the console will self-destruct instantly. If this plan fails, I advise every other survivor to go find one of the Talon villages. These guys helped us to survive and might help you as well. <laughs> Good luck whoever is reading this. Season. Sorry guys, I'm only laughing because I have a bad reputation with the Talon. I, I just can't seem to pull it off. Okay, this is slowly painting the picture. A teleporter, hmm. But no info where to find it. Ida, where in this pile of rubble can we find the bridge? I think I'm on the way. Yeah, I am. Uh, ooh, door. More door, I think that's the bathroom. Oh, can I please? Good news, Commander, I've located the console the writer was speaking about. Oh, there's a steak that's 11 months fresh. Uh, can I please? Oh, I know. I'm so stupid. All right. Close the door, Mike. Uh, ugh. Bridge console. Help. Am I getting close? I forget exactly how to get here, but... Uh, okay, we'll do this. A little salvage. My way through. I'm positive that there is an easier way, guys, but, you know, that's the Mike Tannic way. And I'm in the wrong section again. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, bridge console. It's on the other side, so I have to go up. Uh, there. Okay, so I'll do this. 
Oh, yeah, I see. I see how to how to do. There we go. And then wait for the jetpack to recharge. I got it. 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 I, got it. I, got it. I had it. I I don't think I actually need to do that. I can do a bank shot here, I think. Cuz that little lip of the damn door Ah, uh, all right. Finally, Jesus Christ! I went the wrong way entirely. Here it is. Let Let's see if we can get that key card by accessing the console. Hello? Please enter verification code. AI routine thirty four. Good luck, survivor. Did I win? Yeah, I won. Where to go? Okay, that was the easy part. Where was the teleporter? Do you remember the station at the crash site? We should start there. I've marked it on your map. That's right. Okay, I told you guys that teleporter would come into play later. Uh, yeah. Well, that's now, so. <clears throat> Ugh. Come on, can I get out? No, not that way. Alright. So. What is that over there? Did I already get that? I did. Okay, so. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, go right this way, I guess. Oh, okay. I hate this. I hate this thing. This is why I cannot wait to get a multi-tool every time um, I go looking for that console because I never go the right way. Uh, anyway, we are done. So... Uh, this, again, guys, it's your choice. There are other places on the planet that you can go to. Uh, there's, like, busted up huts. Uh, y if you do some exploring, uh, there is some really good places that you can go. But this is a little bit south of the equator. There is good sunlight, meaning that uh, when you set up solar panels and such, you're going to get good efficiency on them. It is a fixer-upper, and this probably is going to be an episode by itself. I'm not, I'm not going to do this right now. But just the amount of materials here that you can use. Like, you can turn this into a really nice base. And you can even start to build your CVs, because these things right here you can pull out. The thrusters. And there's more thrusters all around. Yeah, which you can use... Um, either on the ship that you're building or you can chuck it into the factory. I am not using the factory this playthrough. So I would be using these as whole pieces, as a matter of fact. Okay, yeah, I, I, I can't make it mine, but let's go right on ahead. We're gonna leave this here now, but we will be back. So let's go back to the crash site. No Xerax coming to attack me, good. Yeah, we'll head back to the crash site. Oh, hello, hello there. And what we're going to end up doing is moving uh, all of the ore uh, and the portable constructors. Everything that we did to set up a camp, uh, we're going to move over there. At least I'm going to do it. That's the way I'm going to do this playthrough. And start to rebuild the Heidelberg. I might actually stream that because that's going to take so long. I don't know. It's It'd be a lot of editing. I might do it both ways. We'll see. Alright, the console should be inside. Okay. Let's go ahead, Parker. Oh, I'm almost out of O2 again. Alright. And I guess I could use some food. Oh, I should probably put these energy bars away. Yeah, in the fridge, because they're all going to spoil. I'm not going to eat that many at once, I don't think. There we go. Uh, oh, let me unload all this junk that I got. Nope, need that. Oh, yeah, these things are so painfully small. These cargo boxes. Alright, that one's full. Uh, let's go ahead and fill this one up as well. Nope, keep that. And what are these? Oh, Ensign Emerson. Okay, these are the logs that we found. Uh, that's all the junk. Okay. 
Let's go see what this console has to say for itself. I didn't... <gasps> oh, I'll be bad with the Polaris if I open that? Well, okay. No. Easy. So what was it again? AI Routine 34? Yes. I won't open your precious cargo box. It doesn't look like you guys are using it. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, access violation. Uh, no. Protocol compromise starting self-destruct sequence. I didn't remember that. We should leave. Okay, okay, yep, I agree. Let's get back. Is that it? Says what the enemy troops inbound multiple combat. It's a trap. It's a trap. Oh no, I don't want to tip. <gasps> you see what I was saying, guys? You don't want this fight. I mean, if you're if you're real crafty, you could probably take on one of these drones. <coughs> In fact, we're gonna do that now. We're gonna do combat the Mike Tannic way, which is the dumb way. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get. What's the range on our assault rifle? Because I did not build any weapons for our HV here. I should have. Ah! 73 meters. Okay, this is bad. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Not before I get you. I'm gonna get you good. Oh, never mind. That was easy. Holy Jesus. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, they, they nerfed these drones. Uh, just so you know, all drones aren't that easy. Come on, come on, die. Oh, no, 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 come back here. Gotcha, all right. Nailed him. And I lived somehow. All right, that was close, taking you. <gasps> Meat! Meat! Analyzing the situation, it's very likely the Xerox found out how to decode the message and we're observing the wreckage. Well, yeah. Thanks, Ida. Alright, I'll let you walk away this time, meat. Seems so. Now this trail has gone cold without the teleporter intact. Alright. Hoop. Oh, no, no. I need that. We might need to find some help. Does that mean I have to go talk to the Talon? Do you know what I do to the Talon? I murder them. In a drunken blind rage. And I have no idea when that started. Chapter 2. Tales of the Past. While you're crashing onto this planet, the scanners detected some tribal structures not too far away from the crash site. You should find one of these structures and make contact with the natives and learn something about this planet. It might be vital for your journey. Or for the survival of every living being. That's took a... Deep turn, Ida. Did I already loot this? I think I did. Uh, yeah, I did. All right. Well, they didn't get my precious hover bike with with its backpack there. I have a hover bike with a backpack. All right. So where is it pointing us now? It said there's a Talon village nearby. Okay, that is all up north. But we do have some resources over here, so... Uh, you know what? Let's go scout these out. We'll see what we can find. There are some Promethium deposits here, which are going to be... Um, vital, if, if we're going to get anything done. Especially, uh, you know, we need a multi-tool, we need fuel, uh, explosives. You need them for explosive packs, so... Let's take our backpack bike here. Oh no, going to land on meat! <laughs> I landed on meat. Let's go. Long. Oh, there's Polaris. Okay, there's silicon. Uh, what's this? Iron? Boring. Okay. Uh, I'm definitely going to wait until we get uh, to level 10. Or uh, we get a hover vessel with a drill on it. Or a small vessel now. You can use a small vessel for uh, drilling. It's a little bit more... It takes a little getting used to. Alright. I'm entering Polaris territory. So, here's the thing, guys. 
you go to the map, this iron deposit, unless you are have the maximum relationship with the Polaris or anyone, uh, do not mine deposits on on other people's territory. Just don't do it. Uh, there's really not much we can do with uh, the Polaris. We can go shopping there, but we don't really have anything to sell. So we're just going to go ahead and leave that be. Uh, but we are suffering a problem here. Uh, it is too cold. It is far too cold. And I need... I need my portable heater and cooler and I don't have iron ore oh god that, yeah that's a problem well I'm going towards the sunrise and it's warming up so we're gonna be okay but that is a mistake I made do not leave home without your portable heater cooler not on the arid planet anyway okay so here we are guys oh are they in the radiation zone no, but there are Promethium rocks lying around. Are these the ones you can pick, or do you have to drill them? Oh, I'm taking it. Okay. Now, you can hear the rads going off. That is a bad thing, in case you didn't know. But this is Promethium. And we're taking it. Because I need... Uh, oh, God. Okay, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of the radiated fog. Are these guys in the middle of the radiation zone? If the Talon are in the radiation zone, I, I am not hanging out with them. Okay. We will probably find the tribe chief in the largest building. Uh, I'm guessing that's this right here. I'm so nervous here, guys. I am not used to being on good terms with the, with the Talon. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, guys, I swear I will behave. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk to the chief, and we're going to call that an episode. Hello, stranger. May the voices of the past lead you to wisdom. How may we help you? They do not seem to be surprised. We have met the others of your Terran species a while ago. And yes, our settlement might look primitive to you, but we are not primitives. I didn't call you a primitive. We have intentionally chosen this life. Calm down. Jesus, I didn't say anything. I literally have not said anything to you. Oops, dropped a clangor. What does that mean? No worries, stranger. Mahaka. If you were falsely led to believe that we are just a primitive tribe, then this is proof we have succeeded. We spent an era cultivating this falsehood. Our ongoing efforts to hide our knowledge and talents from others is how we would have it. Well, now I know. Well, now I know that you guys are faking. Why is he so insecure about their technology? I mean, look at this guy. He can float, so I guess they're okay. What's this about other Terrans? Your people came here about a year ago. They fought with the Xerox patrols in orbit and some of their vessels crashed. We helped them survive until they could return to space. So please partner curiosity. But what are you still doing here? How did you manage to escape the Xerox patrols for so long? Technical troubles with a warp anomaly. Hmm, that's interesting what you say. This hasn't been reported since... There is... Or maybe... Hmm. I wonder if it is you that... Come on, Chief. Make some sense. The following might sound strange to you, but... May I ask you to buy one sprout from our trader, then come back to me? Sure, man. Stop being so defensive about your tech. I literally didn't say anything. I was going to compliment you. I was going to compliment you on your good stonework. That is some solid, clean masonry right there. That is some good, good stuff. And that is a human face. Isn't it? You guys aren't telling me half of what's going on here. Because that's a human face. Don't tell me that's not a human face. Why are you worshipping a man-god? A man god. Are you a traitor? I have no money. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, what do I need most? Uh, you know what would be nice is a spice. I, I can get the vegetables elsewhere, but... 
I will buy one. Let's buy it with cash. Spice. I recommend you guys buy spice. Interesting choice you made. While I speak to the Elders Council about your case, there is a little favor I would ask of you. Sure. Before further talks. Our crop fields are repeatedly getting attacked by spider-like creatures. They pop into existence around the Monument Tower as if they were ghosts and threatening our settlements. Please lend us a hand, patrol the tower, and fend off some of these creatures. Here. Have a few medical supplies. You Terrans seem to need those once in a while. You know what? I... <sighs> You, you, hang on. You may be taller than me. Don't look down at me. Don't look down at me. I'm right at, oh boy, that's, that's, that's awkward. Uh, alright, I'll, I'll go get your spiders. You're looking at me like I'm a baby. I'm not a baby. I crashed here. I got a suit. I, goddamn spiders. Okay. We are going to go to the monument, and we are going to kill some spiders, guys. But that is going to have to wait until the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, special thank you to my channel members, uh, who you will see listed after this. Uh, if you're new here, please do consider sticking around. And uh, definitely leave some comments, any questions, or even guidance you guys may have about the tutorial portion of this playthrough. Uh, I am all ears. I love to talk to you guys. I love to hear from you. Let me know how your playthrough is going. I will see you next time. Mike Tannik out.